Hey guys, it's Lucille. I'm back. Yes, if you guys see me missing for a while, there could only be two reasons. One, I'm busy with work or two, I'm managing my health, okay? So this time around, I think it was both. <laughs> but nonetheless, you guys know I will always come back because I miss you so much. So today, I'm excited because we're gonna transform into mermaids. But first off, I also want to wish all of those who have been playing with me in the Singaporean and Malaysian servers a happy two year anniversary. I can't believe that I have been playing this game for two years now. Oh my gosh, time really flies. I must say that out of all the games I play, I feel like Life Makeover is the one I always find myself consistently returning to because I love the clothes and I love the community and the friends that I've made in this game. If you want to join us, don't forget to join our Discord channel as well at www.discord.gg slash it's Lucille. Okay, now because I totally missed like the last gacha, I will just quickly show you guys my OOTD. Yes, I did pull for the gacha, but I didn't, uh, you know, record the gameplay for you guys. But this was, I guess, my favorite outfit that I did using items from that gacha. I think my favorite item from the last 5 star gacha was this gun. It's like super cool and I love this long decom hair as well. So this is what I've been wearing so far. But today it's all about mermaids and masquerades. So let's jump straight into today's 6 star ocean slumber gacha. The first 6 star set is called Ocean Nebula and it features this beautiful red hair. I think maybe they were trying to mimic ariel from the little mermaid which you guys know i love and then we have this top it looks really ethereal and of course the mermaid tail and then we also have this tattoo that looks like scales so pretty i love the colors and then we have something for the ankles oh my god what is this is this like a huge shell <gasps> That's so pretty. And we have what looks like a beautiful open oyster or something, revealing a pearl. <gasps> Such a beautiful handheld. Another bag accessory that also looks like a fish or mermaid tail. And then we have bracelets, beautiful ring, an accessory that looks like a coral, more facial accessories. And then for the 5 star also actually is really cool. It has this short hairstyle, this golden looking skirt, earring. It's like a masquerade mask but with bunny ears gloves oh my gosh this is a beautiful golden apple oh my gosh and a statement necklace that's gonna look good i think with a lot of outfits some stockings wait what is this oh is this the coat that's so pretty and shoes i actually think both the five star and six star sets are really pretty so it's definitely a good light cheese to pull for i think and then we have the four star plate treat set in pink super cute bow at the top oh my god is this a full accessory that's super cute and then matching earrings and shoes of course we have six stone limited pieces a crown a swallow shaped earring and more necklaces for five star limited pieces we have this dress a light pink top with a halter design Oh my god, what is this? So random. It's like a little baby utensil on the head. And then a necklace, more necklaces, avocado. Recently, I'm really into avocados. I've been mixing it up in my salads at home. And then we have some floral hair accessories. A gummy bone accessory. Looks super chewy. Let's not forget our makeup. We have this one that looks like it's dripping blood. The lens that resembles jeans. Oh my god, what is this? 404. <laughs> Colors lipstick. What? You might as well not wear anything. Makes her look kind of sick or something. Then we have Hardy Planet contact lens with a cross in the middle and eyebrows with some sparkles in them. Of course, we have SSR Gerald this time around, and he looks like he has a lot on his mind. <laughs> oh my god, for our decom items, we have this beautiful dress. Oh my god. I love the 
it kind of relates to the mermaid set because the front has like a shell design and it almost looks like a modern version of mermaid outfits so it's so pretty i love the little bow too and the big bow and of course we have a random donut float and paper creams so you can i guess dye in different colors other items that we have is this nostalgia in time background Ooh. Looks like something from Jurassic Park with the dinosaur bones in the background. I think it would be cool for, yeah, like a vintage outfit. Alright, it's time to start our gacha gameplay. Here we go, 10 pools. The first item we have is the 4 star earring, the 5 star hair cell. The limited 5 star dress that looks like it's good for office wear. 4 star shoes. 20. Oh my god, the gummy bone hair clip. The 6 star ring. I need to take a closer look at this to see the detail. The limited star crown with a star design. The coat from the 5 star set. And the cute plaid hairband from the 4 star. 30 folds. The avocado earring. This avocado is making me super hungry. The 4 star dress. 5 star shoes in a beautiful shade of gold. The full accessory. I've recently been into like crystals and beads and using them to accessorize my bags and phones so yeah i'm just excited about that in 30 pulls we've completed the four star plaid treat set this is so sweet because it comes in pink and i love the bow hairband actually oh we got the six star pearl handheld i really want to zoom into the pearl Okay, you're 40. Oh my god, we got a really cute mask. I think we've had a couple of masks in this game, but not one that combines baby ears, so that's pretty unique. A hair clip. Wait, is this a sparrow or a swallow? The name and description <laughs> do not match. 50 pulls. Another piece from the 6 star set. I love the shade of gold and actually the front of the dress is also giving a bit of mermaid vibes, right? 60 5 star necklace Really pretty earrings And the tattoo, I love the scales It's for dreamy 70 Oh my god, the golden apple! I love that the concept is a forbidden fruit and if only we could open it up, you know, and see how it looks like inside Makeup Wow, super glamorous necklace with really big jewels 80 Glass and the top from the six star set. I don't know how I feel about all the tiny little details on top. You know, like it looks like a little net or something. Let's see how it looks like later when we examine it. But I'm more excited about the tail. Here is the five star top. 90. Stockings. And ooh, we completed the five star dream feaster set in 90 pools. I love the masquerade concept here and the golden apple is so cool Okay, 100 pulls oh, The facial paint and oh my god this ginormous shell that is like super cool 110 a lipstick to use if you want to look under the weather. <laughs> 
What? That's it. 120 necklace and the back accessory. Oh, and the SSR, Gerald. He has mastered the breeze sword play. Good on you, Gerald. <laughs> I honestly miss all the English reels in the SSR cards. I wish they would come back. 130. A beautiful pearl necklace. 140. The red hair from the mermaid set. 150. This lipstick is actually really cool. I like that it looks a bit like blood, but not gory. Like just the right amount. Oh my god, we got the mermaid tail! I know a lot of you are gunning for this item, right? So for me, I got it in 150. Let me know how many pulls it took you, okay? 160 Contact lens The bracelet 170 More contacts Can we complete it? In 170? Nope 180 Yep, nothing and 190! We got the facial accessories! So pretty! Yay! We completed! 6 star set! Ocean Nebula in 190 pools! This is super gorgeous and really just reminds me of Ariel from The Little Mermaid! I love the tail so much! Okay, as usual, I'm gonna keep pulling so I can collect all the fashion items from the decom store. Okay, so I've pulled about 400 times. Yes, I know that is kind of insane because usually I would spend about 350 for six star sets because that would allow me to unlock all the items, not only in the decom store, but also all the palettes. But for some reason, this time it took 400, so... That's that. Don't follow my footsteps. Okay, but let's redeem this dress because I am just obsessed. I love the colors and the design. And then this donut float. And then, of course, we have this paper cream. Okay, let me check out my messages though. It's this person. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for those who messaged me to ask me where I was. Shout out to this sweetie. Her name is C. Zhongsheng. If you have seen the video, please share your attention. Don't worry, I'll be back. Okay, now it's time to look at our 6 star ocean nebula set. Oh my god. And finally, a mermaid. And I just love that we get to swim around in the ocean. Instead of just, you know, mermaid that doesn't get to move, so I think it's really pretty. And I feel like the designers must have been inspired by Ariel, right? From The Little Mermaid. I mean, look at her hair. That hair is like Ariel's color. Oh my god, I love how she's swimming. The tail is so beautiful. Okay, okay. Let's not get distracted. Woman, we are finishing up. <laughs> okay, let's look at the hair. It's a very long hairstyle with some braiding detail at the back. The hair accessories, there are lots of seashells and jewels. I also especially love the little gems on her face. Super wearable. We can definitely use that for other stylings. I also love all these gems and little charms filled with shells at the back. They are really beautiful details. Well, the top is interesting because they gave it sleeves. Let's say if it were up to me, I would probably remove the outermost layer. I don't know. I just like the... What do you call these? Uh, scales? Yes. <laughs> I actually just like the scale design. So I feel like maybe without, you know, all these extra shell detail, it would probably look really beautiful as well. Tattoo, so pretty, I love the blues. And the purples in pastels. Look at this. Well, look at the bag, it's just so pretty. So the thing that looks like another tail flowing from the bag is actually 
technically a wing so you can actually remove them if you want look at the bottom the highlight has to be of course this gorgeous gorgeous tail look at this tail it's so pretty the thing about this tail is that you can wear it in three different ways so if you check out the bottom you can tap on this shirt icon and you get to wear it in three different ways so the one that you saw earlier was the mermaid tail without all the accessories if you want to have them with more accessories you can use number one and it will look something like this but personally i feel like less is more right what do you guys think so i actually prefer uh the version without the accessories and then the best part is you can turn it into a human just like Ariel in The Little Mermaid and oh my god look at her leg I like that they tried to preserve some of her modesty with some additional scales and look at this she has toes I wanna be where the people are I wanna see Wanna see them dancing? So if you stitch to her feet, you will get to see her wearing shoes as well. So the shoes are these that sort of wrapped around her ankles. So pretty. This is the shell, and look at the pearl inside. It's a whole new world. Okay, wrong Disney character. And <laughs> I mean, I just love getting lost in you know dreamy mystical spheres you can dye up to 17 areas for the tail so that is really a lot of detail that you can customize let us take a look at some of the colors for the tail this is a beautiful light blue beautiful pastel pink one of my favorite colors the colors that you choose for the other areas will also affect the look of this yeah so you really have to just play around and see what you get and in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like when it's black. <laughs> wow. Suddenly, we become like this evil, poisonous mermaid. Oh my god, that's kind of scary. Because I've unlocked the X palette as well, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in other brighter colors. So here we have red and purple and blue and teal and green. So beautiful. Look at this whoa but to be honest like the brighter colors kind of make her look scary <laughs> right a little bit i know i think if i were to choose my favorite colors for the tail would be gold i think gold is really beautiful gold with a hint of green maybe and then definitely the pastels so you have blue purple pink even green yeah a lighter shade of teal possibilities are absolutely endless for this let me show you how it looks like if you open the x palette and the starlight effect so as you can see now my tail is changing colors honestly i hardly use the starlight effect <laughs> i find it too troublesome to customize so many parts but you know i feel like it will work for some items and this is definitely one of those super fun and fantastical so i love it let's look at the dynamic pose that you unlock after completing the six star set this one's called tidal echo Whoa. the swimming is so beautiful I'm just like mesmerized by the tail and the colors of the ocean is just so dreamy <gasps> look at the tail I love this post the most it's the one I used on the thumbnail for today's video there's no way I can get through this video without doing another aerial styling <laughs> If you guys watched my videos before, you would have seen me do this once And today I'm using the same hairstyle because even though we have a new one And 
I think it's pretty but I feel like for Ariel she needs to have this particular style so I'm using this one called Tidal Rhyme and for the rest of the items I used the ones from the six stars so we have this beautiful top which I dyed in this gorgeous shade of purple look how sparkly and dreamy it is I opened the X palette so we have colors that are a little bit brighter so gorgeous look at all the scales and of course we have this stunning tail I had so much fun dyeing the tail honestly I chose this beautiful shade of emerald green that looks a little bit sea green as well i think it really suits ariel previously my last styling i had to choose you know a long skirt but this time around we have a tail give her a crown this time because if you guys remember like towards the end of the animation she actually wore a crown that looks like the one that her father gave her or maybe it was the one that her father gave her. Okay, I can't recall. <laughs> but she definitely was wearing a gold crown. So I thought it would be nice to give her that this time around. And I think she looks amazing. I call this Ariel 2.0. I am in love. Moving on to our five stars set for today, Dream Feaster. This one has a masquerade theme and I think it's super pretty as well. I mean, look at this masquerade mask. I'm in love because it has roses at the side and then, you know, these two bunny ears. Super cute. I feel like if I were to wear this with the long hair, it's gonna look really pretty. I feel like there are so many possibilities with this. Even her ears are blinged out. Look at those jewels. But the dress, I don't know why, but it also reminds me of mermaids. Maybe it's because of this design. And then I love the necklace. Super glam. I also love this coat. Really sparkly and translucent. Look at all that jewel detail. Pick up the heels. Pretty. I think the item to focus on though would have to be this golden apple handheld. I mean, look at this. It's such a fashion statement. <laughs> super, super cool. Oh my god, it looks so good in red. Giving me Christmas vibes, which by the way, I cannot wait for it to come. I think what I like the most about this 5 star is I feel like all the pieces are quite versatile. You can use them in other outfits, you know, such as this hair, the coats, tenhel, even this beautiful jewel necklace. It's so glamorous and classy. Okay, moving on to our 4 star plaid treat. It doesn't come with a hairstyle, so I'm just using this one called Layout Berry. It's a free item from one of those events. It's super cute. This set features this really cute hairband with two buttons i like that the color is in pink and then you have this halter neck design revealing the bag i mean it's pretty simple the last i think it's really cute and could be you know dyed to have different effects such as black or blue but i think pink is cute this handful case is so cute i love the little bow and like the pearls sort of dangling from it and you can dye them in various colors so pretty At the end of this video i'm gonna show you guys a styling that i did featuring some of my favorite items from today's gotcha and first of all let's look at the decom dress this is island glow and originally it was in this beautiful like green and brown which on its own is really beautiful but i decided to unlock the palettes and dye them in the shade of black and bright blue because i don't know i just find myself leaning towards this combo i love how mermaidy it looks with the shell design in front and then for the bottom of the dress i dyed it in black so that there is a bit of a contrast and i dyed today's six star shoes in black and white and then probably the most obvious thing is that I added the coat from the 5 star. The coat is really versatile and it looks beautiful with a dye in different colors so you can really see the sparkles. It gives the dress another dimension and then I added some hair accessories from the 6 star gacha as well as the facial accessories. Well, look at that. I also threw on this necklace that was a limited piece from today's gotcha but I dyed it in the same shade of blue and then for the hair I used top pepper I have no idea where it's from 
I dyed it in black because I feel like there shouldn't be too many focal points in an outfit. And for this one, definitely the dress is the star. So I really enjoy this look and how it turned out. And I feel like it's a modern take on the mermaid concept. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Wow, it's been so long since I did a gotcha video for Like Me Go For End. I really enjoyed today's one. Let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite item or set from today. And let me know if you guys are also pulling, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe and also join my Discord channel, discord.gg slash itslacil if you want to join our gaming community. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye!